Bani Kanabe is a member of the Canadian Parliament and uh, who is representing a constituency where Pakistanis are in an overwhelming kind of uh, you know population. Tell me, what is your experience with the Pakistani community, good and bad? Both? Oh, there is no bad for sure. I'm Bonnie Crombie, as you know, I'm the member of parliament in Mississauga Streetsville. I want to say salam alaikum, and I want to say happy Independence Day to all my Pakistani friends. I have such a wonderful relationship with the Pakistani community. It is my honor and my privilege to, to represent such a strong and diverse community who have done so much for Mississauga, for Ontario, and for Canada, because you bring your ingenuity and your entrepreneurial spirit. You've done so much, not only for arts, for culture, for food, but to drive our economy. Uh, we welcome you with open arms here in, in Canada, particularly Canadian in Canadian forces and Pakistan, mm -hmm. they both are combating terrorism in Afghanistan. Yes. How do you see this relationship and how do you see Canada being an affluent country yes. uh, in the, playing any role in the development of Pakistan? Yet? Well, of course, we stand shoulder to shoulder, as you know, with our allies in Pakistan. But at this time, it's very important that the Canadian troops withdraw from Afghanistan. Afghanistan. There may be a role for Canadians to play, bringing our expertise, whether it be building schools or helping build democratic institutions. But at this time, we need to withdraw from any military role in Afghanistan. We're going to withdraw by 2011. Okay. Tell me, you know, how do you see the, this flood situation, which is uh, purely a catastrophe? It's such devastation. You know, what kind of role Canada can play? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, first of all, let me offer my condolences to the families that have been affected. Thousands of people have been killed and millions have been displaced from their homes. And I've been part now this of three fundraisers to help raise money. And we've raised quite a bit of funds, but much more is needed. But not only money is needed, but supplies are needed, especially medical supplies. And we have to encourage our government to match all the funds that are raised from the community. They've pledged $2 million dollars but we could raise two million it could be four million dollars and there's so much more the government could be doing they could be processing visas to help families reunify there is so much anxiety in the community they're not able to reach their family members home in Pakistan they don't know what's become of them these people need to be able to come here to Canada to help rebuild and be reunified with their families and the government should be a priority on this on these people so not only money and matching funds but processing visas and to help connect people people back home home so that they can relieve some of this anxiety. It's such, such a terrible time. We have, to, we have to all join together to help rebuild this country that has been such a strong friend to Canada. Okay. Have you talked to your parliamentarian colleagues to uh, ask Canadian government to play any role in yes, the, of course. Know, to help the flood victims? Yes, of course. Our leader, Michael Ignatieff, has stood strongly and talked to the Prime Minister and said it was absolutely imperative that they match all funds raised from the community to help top up the money being raised. We have to do everything we can in our power to help alleviate the suffering and the devastation that's going on in Pakistan right now. Thank you so much, oh, Mani. It is Thanks always my you. pleasure to speak my to you. Pleasure. Thank you. My, my, my pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you. Azim and Mia. Geo News, Toronto, Canada. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. is the host for the evening, Mahmoud Akhtar. Hi, yes, sir. I want to let everybody know that there is good stuff happening in Pakistan as well. We have a hope that hope is Imran Khan that can bring a change. So that was the theme of this event today. I thank everybody very much for supporting us. I would like to invite Barney Krambi at this time to come and say a few words, and we'll move on the program. Thank you once again.
It's okay. Oh, I'll be loud. Thank you. Sorry, I just made in the... No, 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 we've got instant translation, so it's all fine. Assalamu alaikum, friends. Satsurikal. Namaste, namaskar. It's such an honor and pleasure to be here, at, as it always is. I also want to say Mubarak for the 63rd anniversary of the foundation of creation of Pakistan, the state of Pakistan. But also at this time, I want to extend my condolences to the families that are stuffy, suffering and the, through the devastating monsoon flooding that's occurring. And of course, I'd like to address that a little further on in my remarks. But right now, I just want to say how honored I am to be here to pay tribute to a great man, a great visionary, who has done a wonderful thing on the special fundraiser by creating the Shockett Khan Memorial Cancer Center. Um, as you know, Mr. Khan has a very long and storied career, both in the cricket world and now in the political world as well. But he has made a really significant impact on the lives of many Pakistanis. And I know there are many people who are touting him as a future prime minister. And you could hear with his passion and his vision that he wants to take care of the most vulnerable in society and seek only social justice for all. And one of his many accomplishments is, of course, establishing the Shockett Khanum Center, which opened in Lahore in 1994. And I'm very pleased to hear we may, may be opening a, a second center. And that's why we're all here today. The center is a project and whose mission statement is to provide care to those most needy who can't afford or don't have the ability to pay for themselves and also continue to do those important research into cancer and, and causes of cancer. And I know this issue is, is one that is very near and dear to Mr. Khan's heart. He established it, of course, upon the death of his mother, Shakut, from cancer. But maybe some of you know or that, or that you don't, but this is also an issue that's very near and dear to my heart. My father also passed away of brain cancer, a very terrible and aggressive glioblastoma back in 2002. And so I've also been touched by this, as many of us have been, been touched by cancer in their lives. And he passed away in the palliative care center of the Credit Valley Hospital in Mississauga. And as a result, for many, many years, I too have been raising money for cancer awareness and raising money to build the regional cancer center at the Credit Valley Hospital that serves many people. But we are so fortunate that we have, um, we have government subsidized, yes, medical care, and everyone has access to it. For 15 years, your center has made a difference in the lives of so many people, especially those who wouldn't be able to afford it and provided world-class services and the technology that is available to them there. And I can't tell you how great it is for the family members of people who are suffering from cancer to know that there's a center like this one, helping to alleviate the pain and the suffering that unfortunately has been caused by this terrible disease. And so we're delighted that you'll now be opening a second center. And while I'm happy to be here to help you raise money for this important cause, it would be remiss of me not to also mention the devastation that's occurring in Pakistan as a result of the monsoon flooding. It has taken a toll on thousands of lives which have been lost and displaced millions of people. Thousands of homes have been lost. And it's important that Canada, who is a true partner to the nation of Pakistan, that we join together and we help our friends in their time of need and we dig deep. Yesterday I had a, a national a barbecue for my riding association and we hosted a few thousand people and we raised four hundred dollars that we'd like to contribute i've made a personal donation and we're organizing other fun fundraisers in our community but not only money is needed of course building supplies are needed medical equipment is needed household supplies of course food and and clothing as well and this is something we can do to gather together as um, canadians supporting this cause for the, to aid people in Pakistan. We must do more and we must pressure our government who has committed $2 million, yes, but they could do very much more as well. They need to match any funds raised in the community. In addition to that, they also need to process visas so we can reunify families that have been displaced. How many of you have called me and told me that you aren't able to reach your family and the anxiety and suffering that that has caused? So there's so much more we can do together as a community. So while I'm delighted to be here to help raise money for this very worthy cause, I want to also ask all Canadian Pakistanis um, that are here today and and our residents of Mississauga or Toronto to get to dig deep into your wallets and into your hearts to do whatever we can to help alleviate the suffering that's at home.
Um, I also want to thank everyone for inviting me here, especially Mr. Mahmoud Akbar for being here to MC today's event, Mr. Mohammed Shabir and Mr. Akbar Waris, and of course Mr. Nabdeep Tawana, all the organizers of today's event, because of course events like this aren't possible without uh, volunteers who come together to, to, be, to work hard and organize um, to make this possible. And I have a few certificates of appreciation that I would like to present at this time, if possible, to the organizers. I don't know if we want to do them one at a time. Thank you. Maybe take a group shot following. Mr. Mohammed Shabir. Thank you. Mr. Nav Navdeep Tawana. Tawana. <laughs> and of course, Mr. Akbar Waris. And of course, last but not least, to the incredible work that he's done in the community, Mr. Imran Khan. Cameraman Sabar Gaya Kesat, Badar Munir Chaudhary, Canada.